I'm Josh Dysart, and I've been a graphic novelist since 1996. And um... my name is Camila Dorico, and I'm a comic book manga artist as well as a painter. And so we've spent time here, sort of studying um, the relation between manga, what we both do, and in relation to the Edo pop and the roots of the Japanese um, woodblock printing, and, and sort of how it relates to it, what we do. With us being uh, sort of populist commercial artists, it's, it's unusual for an institution like this to embrace us. And the fact that we have been able to sort of support this, um, this amazing institution, that, that's been the most incredible thing we've done, and also the bulk of, of our time here. Going and speaking to different audiences that would not normally have been um, tuned in to the Edo Pop thing, and trying to bring kind of a different life into the museum. You know, I think one of my favorite things actually was Family Day. They swarmed me, and it wasn't something I was expecting. I, I had a plan, and um, but just like with anything, you just have to roll with it. And after the kids just wanted portraits of themselves, that's sort of what I did for two hours. And yeah. kids don't get that chance. They don't get to see a professional artist come and and draw in front of them, and especially them, you know, and turn them yeah. into. And especially here, like around this, like really amazing collection for them yeah. to be able to run in and just have you there, like yeah. engaging with them. And I, I was expecting the kids to have lots of questions for us, but it turns out that the parents were the ones who were really interacted with us and they were asking tons of questions and then the kids, at one point they were, the only question was, can I start drawing? Or when do we draw? Yeah, when do it we draw? It was revolutionary yeah. democracy in action, <laughs> like our plans were irrelevant. When do yeah. we draw? And so, you know, we had to totally change what we were doing and bring out a table and find, yeah. you know, but it was great. It really engaged Oh, yeah. the kids and yeah, yeah and it was nice. the parents too. Yeah, that's right. The little kids, after I do their portraits, they came up and gave me um, drawings as thank yous. And I was like, that's it's good to see where the style originated from because now I'm going to take that home with me. I'm going to take the experience of seeing it in person and seeing the details and experiencing a huge collection like this because I've only ever, you know, researched it online or through books. But seeing it in person is a completely different experience. And so I sort of just zoomed right into these pieces, like one inch away from them, just studying all the details. I'm kind of excited to see what, where that takes my art. I mean, you're talking about being profoundly, having your work profoundly, deeply affected by this residency, yeah. essentially forever. I mean, a, like yeah. a, a potential shift in, yeah. in the way that you approach your work. I mean, that's kind of an incredible thing to get out of 10 days. You guys should always have this place filled with artists running around, <laughs> talking about it, representing it, and then yeah. performing in it. And I mean, I don't know if the vibe that's been going on here while we're here is, is not usual, but it really makes this place feel alive. So to have all this activity around all these living artists, it, 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 everything gets brighter, everything lights up. It's nice. Mm -hmm.